Hello! <sighs> I wish I could make 3D. Oh shit, son! It's the original 3D maker! What the hell does that mean? Well, it's, it's that. These children are amazed by the skeletal fish they have created. It includes a 3D maker, three gels, five moulds, three stencils, and if you've seen my video before where we had this weird pen that tried to sort of make plastic shapes, I think that's what this is. Make amazing 3D creations with the 3D maker. There are three different ways to design. You can trace a stencil, fill a mould, or use the free play template to make up something on your own. Looking at that, the free play template seems to be a plastic sheet. So yeah, <clears throat> create solid 3D objects with the moulds. Join pieces together without heat or glue, and then create any 3D object you can imagine. Ooh, I can imagine a lot. No heat, no glue, no mess. Kid friendly. Is it sofa friendly? Frankly, that's what's worrying me at the second. Use the 3D maker vertically or horizontally to make tall and wide creations. Ooh, right. So how does this work then? Um, is this does this heat up? Is this magic gel something where? Um, oh, if I remember, actually, it's light. It is the magic photons which fly through it and make the gel go all hard. So I'm guessing it's that. Right, it requires three batteries, which I've forgotten to bring up. So great, we'll have a jump cut in a second. Right. Should have removed that first. Oop. Right, these will be the stencils. We can finally find and then eat Nemo. There's some sort of turtle thing going on. More fish. A starfish. I'm going to be honest, this is quite fish related. Some tiny, tiny wee shells and things. Don't care about that one. And seahorses! They're like the horses of the sea. That's why they're called sea horses. Look, here's a blank one to distract from the awful song. Right, here's another one. And instructions, which I'll have a shifty through in a minute. Right, what is the actual device itself like? Oh man! Free butt plug! Now we're talking! Um, so presumably this is the gel. Um, 3D magic. Oh yeah, ah, uh, there we go. Oh, I see, so what you do is you shove that right up your ass, then you pull that bit out, and then you can't remove it, and you have to go to casualty. So that's always fun. Sorry, accident and emergency, showing my age there. Right, then we've got orange, we've got red, all the colours of the sea. Can we make Sharky and George the crime busters of the sea? Now there's a question. Okay, here's the thing. Anything else in here? Nope, loads of cardboard and guff that we don't care about. Crunch. Right, this does look like a... it's a light oven. An oven that makes light, that is my guess. Yeah, it's got a timer on it as well. I wonder how long it takes. Hmm. So how does one... how do you... how do you release this thing? Is there a release button? No, that doesn't do anything. But obviously the batteries go in there. Yeah, that's, that's not going to release on its own. How bizarre. Well, let's have a shifty through the instructions then, which are incredibly small, so that's a good sign for it being quite an easy thing to use. Three gel, using the stencils, blah, 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 same impression, place the flat, reason, start killing the time button, and the unit start. Place the stencil on the unit. Hmm, it just seems to open there, it doesn't actually say. Yeah, so you put a load of goo in the... Uh, stencil things. And then you can assemble the fish. Ooh. Filling the turtle stencil. Ooh. Assembling the turtle. Ooh. I don't care. Right. <clears throat> i tell you what I have got, actually. Some extra colours. Gonna be honest, it did look like I was buying a set of three butt plugs. There's no real getting around that, but there we are. Trace with magic gel. Process with ultraviolet light. Remove solid design. Solid, mates. Right. I reckon I'm gonna go and I am going to get the batteries, and then we can begin creating the most beautiful art since Neil Buchanan threw up in a dirty toilet. So, the batteries are inserted. That's three double A's, battery fans. And I discovered there was some sort of problem where they um, hadn't moulded the door properly. But I fixed it now, it just comes down. Look, that's better. And there is the UV chamber, which uh, does look quite technologically futuristic and troubling. Well anyway, I want to make the turtle, and I want to make the turtle out of the blue goo. Let us attempt this thing. So first things first, uh, we've got to uh, go along this shell here, one presumes. Oh, it appears to just leaked some sort of white pre-cum style fluid there. That's that's absolutely grotesque. Um, let's try to cross like that. Oh yeah. 
this isn't actually that difficult to work with oh you can't see it sorry sorry guys I uh, had the thing a bit too high up uh, you should be doing this on a flat surface ideally and not a shitey sofa that's that oh yeah imagine the kids having pico seconds of fun with this and down the middle and we've made a weird shell for a turtle thing how absolutely lovely <clears throat> right let's go for the turtle as well one supposes uh, oh i should have been slightly more careful with that as you can see i may have ruined this turtle but the important thing is we had fun and we learnt about art and we learnt that turtles are made of weird uv gel and i think at the end of the day that is the important lesson to learn hmm. all right get round that bored now i'm gonna jump cut i haven't finished it so there we are my friends the greatest turtle the world has ever seen or will it be let us find out let's put it in the uh, easy bake idiot oven and <gasps> close the door and i've got no idea how long the timer runs for so uh yes it's flashing on the top you can't see it there you can now flashy flashy red light hmm i'm hoping this doesn't go on too long actually well that took a lot more time than i thought it would let's see what's inside i should have timed it, actually Do you know what i'll time the next one then we'll know <gasps> dun, 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 dun. it looks the same but it's, it's kind of harder how does one remove it i Hmm. hmm. Are there specific removal instructions? Oh, here we are. Just give it a push from the top of the mould. That seems to be the way forward. It makes disturbing cracking noises, like the skulls of your enemies. And... Oh, yeah. We're going to have ourselves some turtle joy in a minute, guys. And by turtle joy, I mean scary skeletal nonsense. Come on. Out you come. It's coming. It's going to be here soon, guys. This is like the birth of art. This is exactly when Michelangelo made a turtle out of some sort of air-curing UV reactive gel, which I'm sure happened in history. And come on, last bit. You can do this. Join us in this world, turtle of beauty. Yay! Well, I mean, it's, it's hung together very well. Um... I'm not going to say it looks amazing or anything, but it has worked. It's worked a lot better than that pen thing. Let's get the bottom of it out. There we are. And presumably we can use the uh, stuff itself as a glue in order to fix these two parts together. Although they've kind of stuck together anyway, so that'll do. I may have been wrong. The bottom just fell out. Oh, well, I'll glue that in later. Honest, and in no way will I throw this straight in the fucking bin. Now, um, that's, it's quite an interesting little toy in its way, I would have said. I can imagine kids having a bit of fun with that, sticking the stuff on, and then running out of the gel really quickly, and then having to buy the expensive refills. You know how it is, guys. You know how it is. Um, I'm now going to attempt to produce my own beautiful work of art in the oven. Let us jump cut to its completion. So, this ran for about four and a half minutes, and inside we have what I like to call crudely drawn cock pissing Ribena. I think it's going to be a classic in the Tate Modern. I'll give them a ring later and see if they want it. Anyway, yep, yeah, that's uh, coming off fine. And now I can stick that on the window or something and uh, then wonder why my house price decreases so dramatically. Well, that's of interest, isn't it? But I tell you what, I've got an even more interesting part of it. Get this, guys. 3D spinner! Yes! It helps you do other stuffs. <clears throat> so, fill the mould. Sounds familiar. Spin the spinner until gel fills the mould and place into the 3D magic maker. Oh, I get it. I get it. Right. So the idea is, yeah, you get these little mould things. Let's use this uh, owl as an example. It comes in two parts. You pour the gel into it to give it a covering and then spin it round so it evenly distributes itself and creates a more hard shell. Also, you can make small bridges, so that's a good thing, isn't it? Includes two times pet series moulds, which seems a bit mean, frankly, only giving you two moulds since you can't use it, you know, with your own stuff unless you can somehow make the mould. And I very much doubt anybody here has a plastic processing plant in order to do that. So yeah, you can make the little pet things. Action figures, fairies and vehicles, each sold separately. Oh, I want the action figure ones. And the cars, well I don't have any of them, I've just got the two that came with it. And this is what 
we're going to be making the new channel mascot, Shitty the Cat. And I'm going to make it out of uh, blue gel because it reminds me of Dougal and the Blue Cat, which was a good film. Okay then, uh, let's cover this whole thing with gel then, and then jump cut. Right then, there we go, and um, we now have some blue goo loosely in the shape of two halves of a cat, which you then seal together. Hmm, I must say, that used almost the entire tube of the bloody gel, which is a bit rubbish. Also, this stuff really stinks when you get it en masse. Hmm. Well, I'm guessing this is going to uh, bleed out a bit and we'll have to uh, trim it with a pair of scissors or something afterwards. But it's time to reveal the spinner! Bam 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 bam, it's a Stargate! Right, uh, you unlock it like this. This was the easiest thing in the world to put together, by the way, which I did get bonus points for. Although it does seem a little bit rickety. Oh yeah, it's, in fact it's fallen to bits already. Great. Put it in and lock. And now... Spin that cat! I said do it at least 15 times. It's it's just falling to bits. Into... <laughs> Come on. Hold in. Click in or something. Do, just do something. Do something with your life. There we are. Right. <clears throat> Start again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'm not even going to count. I'm just going to keep spinning it. And then it will have been spun. Yes. It hasn't covered that part of the cat's face. That's, that's worrying me slightly. Okay. And now we'll rotate it slightly. And spin it again. This spinning doesn't seem to be doing an awful lot at all, actually. I'm not massively impressed by it. It feels like the gel is a little bit too hard for this to actually be an active process, and this is just something to keep the kids busy, do you know what I mean? Right, let's get it out. Unlock. And... Oh yeah, it's not covered the sides, look. I'll have a shake it like this. Ah! Vigorous shaking has also not helped. <laughs> it's going to have a hole in its head, isn't it? It's going to have a grotesque hole in its head, and everybody in the entire world is going to be upset about it. Well, tough. That's life, guys. Okay, pop it into the old 3D maker for exactly four and a half minutes, <clears throat> as it seemed to have uh, run before, and then you have to turn it over, because uh, I, I honestly don't know, actually. It's annoying, isn't it? Right, let's have a jump cut to ten minutes' time. Well, technically, nine minutes' time. Plop. Right then, let's see what the 3D Maker has produced in conjunction with the Mighty Spinner. It was quite warm. Right. Carefully peel back both halves. More carefully than that, maybe. Oh, it's coming. It's coming out. <gasps> it's coming out. So we'd better get this party started. Come on. Release. Oop. And from the other side. And it's our new channel mascot. <coughs> Unreleasable the cat. Hang on, hang on. Yeah, yay! Shit the blue cat. Gonna be honest, that could have gone better. It's got a bit of a cracked skull. It hasn't quite reached all corners. It's managed to uh, flow outside the uh, mould quite a lot, but not actually fill the entire thing. Um, perhaps with a bit more care and patience you could get that to work, but I think the kids might be uh, slightly annoyed by that. What annoyed me was that it took, basically, a whole bloody tube of that gel to produce one of these. So this could turn out to be quite an expensive little thing. But yeah, if you don't want to get hold of one of these, I think they're on clearance. I bought it literally years ago in a Tesco just on the end of the aisle, and I think like the whole lot was like £10 or a little bit more or something, including all the refills. And frankly, I only bought those because they amusingly look like sex toys. So yes, um, if you particularly want some gel stuff and you think the kids will be amused and hopefully not make too much of a mess, you could do a lot worse than picking one of these up for nothing. But if you're expecting to make sort of nice stuff, ain't gonna work, guys. Ain't really gonna work. Overall, I give this one sad onion, because hey, at least it's better than that stupid pen one. Oh, should have thought through the eye more. Subscribe for more.